All right, guys. Well, welcome to our first video where we're going to learn how to use Photoshop. So I've already got Photoshop open on my screen here. And this is where it's going to start off. And for most of the time, you're going to come over here and you're going to hit New to start a new one. Now, if you've been working on one previously, which in the future you may, those may show up here in the recent files and you can click on it or you can hit open to open up your file that you were working on previously. But for today, we want to just start off by clicking on new. When you do that, it's going to give you some settings over here. For the most part, we are going to go ahead and leave these all um, the same. It doesn't really, that's fine. But the one thing I want you to really get in the habit of is to always give things a name. And so for the first one, I want you just to put practice. Um, just because if you're not in the habit of saving things, you're going to end up with 100 untitled files and you're not going to know where anything is. So let's go ahead and just give that the name practice and hit OK. And it's going to open up just like this. Now I want to go ahead and point out a few things. Uh, first of all, up here in the corner, you'll see that this is called the Essentials. And so you can see that underneath here there's a number of different um, options as far as uh, how this is set up. This is called your workspace. And Essentials is the one that we're going to be working with primarily, and the one that we're going to uh, most of the time be working out of. So if you ever go in and things just don't look like, right, it's different than how it uh, normally looks, whatever the case may be, check up here first, make sure it says Essentials. If it does say Essentials, you could try hitting Reset Essentials, and that will reset it back to the kind of the default style then as well. The second thing that I want you to really get in the habit of uh, checking out is down here. You see you've got this tab here that's called Layers. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to zoom in on this for a minute. What I want you to see down here is when it says layers, there's a number of options. But the most important thing is right here where you have this one that's called layer one. You need to make sure that whatever layer that you're working with is the layer that's selected. You can tell that by it's got this either like these white uh, kind of corners or that it's kind of this grayer gray shape here. If that's the case, then that's the one that's selected. Now sometimes you may try to go in and try to edit something and it's not going to work because you don't have that layer selected. So make sure that you have the correct layer selected. Over here you also see something, this is little eye. This will hide or show the layer based on whether the eye is visible or not. So if I right now the eye is showing, that means I can see that layer. If I can't if I don't want to see that layer, then I can click on the eye, it'll hide it, and then I won't be able to see it. So those are a couple things to know as well. Um, then one more tool that we want to see is up here. This one right here, that's called the history button. And the history button is going to do a few things for us. It's going to um, allow us to go back in time and see what we've done. Now, if you notice um, up here where you've got your edit, you've got undo, and we can undo things. But in Photoshop, oftentimes it only allows you to go back one step with the undo. So you're going to want to come over here, check out the history, and then you can go back and then you can delete steps that you don't want and it'll take you back in time. All right, so what I want you to do, I want you to go back to our class page and just if you scroll down just a little bit, you'll see that there's three pictures on there. And you can pick whichever picture you want to use. So there's these three. And <clears throat> if you click on it, it will make the picture kind of enlarge and then do a two finger click on it and hit save image as. Once you do that, make sure that you give it a name. Right? And also make sure that you know where it's going to go. One of the most important things that we do is that we give things a name and we know where they go so that we can find them. 
right? So I'm going to go ahead and save that. I just saved it to my desktop in this case just so I could find it. And what I'm going to do in Photoshop, the way we've got to make it work and the way that it works the easiest is if we come up and we say file and we say open and we go and find the file that we want to open and then we go ahead and click on that, right? Now, from here, we've got a few tools that I want to take a look at. Over here, the first one is this four directional arrow. This is our move tool. And if you kind of just hover over it, you'll see that it says move. You'll see also in the parentheses, uh, it has a letter. If you want to just click the keyboard, that would um, open up that one as well. Now, what I want to do first is move it. But when I click on it, you see it says cannot use the move tool because the layer is locked. And so as I go back and I look at my layer, I now have this little lock over here as well. If I click on the lock, I can uh, unlock it so that I can edit it and I can do some things with it. So the first thing I want to do is just kind of see I can move it around and not really do anything with it other than just moving it. But this is the move tool and that will be beneficial a little bit later on is to be able to move things around. I can also zoom into things, and this is uh, helpful at times because um, we you know sometimes we want to get a little bit better view of what we're doing and how we're uh, cutting things out or how we're editing things. So I can zoom in and I can really get close to see what it is I'm doing. You notice that at first it just shows the magnifying glass with a plus sign. But what I can do up here, I also have the magnifying glass with the minus sign. And so sometimes the tools have different options. So I can click on the magnifying glass with the minus sign to zoom out. Plus sign to zoom back in. On your Mac, you can also use just your two fingers and you can kind of uh, do the pinch to zoom and to zoom in and out as well. And so that kind of makes it easy to be able to zoom in and out on things. So. Being able to zoom though and being able to get in a, a little bit of a closer view is going to be a very important tool to use as well. And then finally one of the most important tools that we'll use is what's called the free transform tool. And so if we go up to edit and you come down you see it's free transform and we can get there by hitting command T. And that's going to be a really important tool to use and to know how to get to. We'll use that very frequently. When you hit command T you'll see that it puts these boxes around the edges and on the corners of your picture. With that, I can go over top of a corner and I can shrink the picture down. I could grab just one side and just smush it in. I can take the top. I can take the top and just kind of flatten it down. So those are all some important tools. Now, once I make any change, you'll see up here there's this circle with a line through it. And if I don't want that change to actually take effect, I can take that. If I do want it to take effect, I'm going to hit the check. So I hit the check. It puts all those changes into place and saves it. I'm going to go ahead and hit Command-T again, though. And a couple other things that I want to show you. If, if you go right above the edge, of the corner you see that you get kind of this bent arrow and what you can do with that is you can rotate and you can kind of move the picture around and ro just rotate it around the circle then as well okay so some three very important but very basic tools but tools that we're going to use quite a bit once you finish watching this video what I want you to do is go on go back to our class page and I want you to go on to the next video where you'll actually work on our first project.